Welcome. Today's recap is a film breaking and exiting of 2018. Harry the burglar, together with his cousin, Chris, clean out houses and enjoy a carefree life. In fact, they carefully assess the situation and, after waiting for the owners to leave, they climb inside. They take a little of everything, decorations, equipment and other things in the children's room. Harry even leaves some money for the children in the piggy bank. Harry's main trick is that he urinates in the toilet of the houses he robbed. But after the last robbery, Chris tells Harry that he found a job and after the next one he will stop with robberies he wants to live normally and even start a family. Harry doesn't understand this decision and believes that tomorrow Chris will change his mind. At night, Harry after a hookup breaks up with the girl because he can't answer her question of whether he loves her or not. In the morning, Harry and Chris are going to work and Korea still hasn't changed his mind about starting a new life. While these two are waiting for now the owners of the house to leave, and then they get inside for the last robbery. Harry immediately begins to teach Chris about life and the size that this is freedom, but Chris has already clearly decided everything. While Harry decides to urinate in the toilet, Chris stumbles upon problems in the form of the returning owner. After a small mess, these two still manage to escape. Harry likes this madness and adrenaline, but Chris was even more convinced of the correctness of his decision. The next day, Harry goes alone to a new business, his goal was not or robbery, but he wants to have some fun. He opens the gate, remembering what password the owners entered and drives the car inside. Harry begins to surround the house with equipment, paintings and everything that comes his way. And of course, he needs to urinate in the toilet and during the process he notices a girl in the bathroom. Daisy greets him and she no longer gives any reaction. Harry explains that he is robbing but she doesn't care, she only asks to close the door after leaving. He understands that she is trying to commit suicide and explains that nothing will happen from these pills. Harry tells her about the right pills and leaves. After suggesting, Harry leaves from the house. But on the way his conscience awakens and he decides to return. He provokes her to vomit and puts her to bed, and while she is sleeping, Harry begins to have fun playing games, watching TV and much more. In the evening Daisy comes to her senses and does not understand why Harry is still here. He explains that he will not leave her here alone because she will try to do this again. But also he cannot explain why he is doing this. Daisy does not really like Harry's presence and she is not going to even answer his questions or have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Then Harry begins to bother her even more and persuades her to have dinner. While preparing food, Harry finds out that this is the house of her boyfriend, with whom she broke up and even tells that they were engaged. Harry tries to somehow cheer him up and joke, but she has no mood for that. At dinner, she calls her ex and very heatedly records a voice message and then offers Harry a smoke, to which he naturally agrees. They stubbornly insist, but this helps them have a good time and talk, after which Daisy falls asleep on Harry's shoulder. In the morning, when Daisy comes to her senses, Harry makes her coffee and thinks that he has cancelled her desire to kill herself, but Daisy, having sobered up, assures that she will do it anyway. She says it's selfish to deprive her of a choice, to which Harry thought that she is an egoist. Harry is trying to find out why she wants to do this so much. Though he himself doesn't understand that what keeps him next to her, because he doesn't even know her. But she continues to say that he can't convince her in any way. Then Harry agrees to leave her, but on one condition. He will cook dinner for her, and she will taste it. He promises her dinner just as like in a restaurant, and she'll dress up better. So FOT that, first they need to go grocery shopping. They go there on her ex's motorcycle, though they meet a friend of Daisy, and she thinks that Daisy and Gory are together, in a relationship. Having arrived home, they begin to prepare for dinner, Harry cooks and Daisy is looking for an outfit. Harry calls to Chris, and in the conversation he understands that Chris really likes this whole usual routine. Daisy puts on a beautiful dress and Harry also put a suit, and they start eating together. Daisy likes how Harry cooks. During the conversation, he asks why she wants to commit suicide to which Daisy answers that she doesn't see anything good in her life, and she has never been happy. Harry leaves to turn on the music and then invites her to dance. They begin to have fun, but this time in a sober mind, and also because they themselves want it. Harry throws her into the pool, they reach out to each other to kiss, but the bell rings. The police officer is standing on the threshold and reports that the neighbors called them because of Daisy's screams. 
They come to the door and say that they are married and were just having fun. The officers understand the young people and leaves. Daisy's mood suddenly changes and she says that dinner is over. Although Harry promised not to interfere, but he says that she has changed her mind and he is leaving. She screams at him and asks him to get out of the way and not interfere. Harry also can't stand it and lashes out at her, after which he also sends her and goes to the car. While driving, Harry sees how Daisy gets in the way and asks where is he going, she doesn't want him to leave, but she can't admit it. Having gone far enough, he's racing in his thoughts and wants to go back, but he understands that it's none of his business. Harry can't stand it and goes back, when he arrived, he doesn't have time because Daisy is already underwater in the pool. He takes her out and does artificial respiration, after which she comes to her senses. Harry takes her to the room and realized that she hoped that he will save her because the door of the house was opened. He let her rest, but she asks Harry to lie down with her and they fall asleep together. However, at night Daisy can't sleep and burning. They go downstairs to dance and Daisy kisses him. An unforgettable night awaits them in the morning, satisfied. Harry goes to make coffee and stumbles upon the owner of the house. Upon asking, Daisy turns out to be his girlfriend. Daisy and Peter broke up a long time ago and she penetrated him before. Pete warns Harry that she is sick in the head and it's better to stay away from her. However, Harry comes to her defense and tells Daisy to tell them everything. It turns out that Peter cheated on her with her best friend and Daisy expresses everything that has been boiling for a long time. Harry breaks their phones and takes Daisy to his place. They come to his house and see that the apartment has been raided. Harry is not particularly upset because now he has Daisy and their recti to start their new and fresh life. And that's all. This recap was fantastic, but there are more recaps waiting for you. Hit the like button and subscribe to Famous Recaps. See you soon.